Hello everybody, I'm Roman Rodericks and uh, we are on chapter 1, the first chapter of physics uh, which is all about introduction of physics. So this is lesson 2 and uh, previous lesson we discussed about what is physics, uh, the various branches of physics and the importance of physics in daily life. So in lesson we will be discussing about the various uh, uh, scientists, okay, useful scientists and uh, also about uh, the various uh, scientific methods as well. So <coughs> let's start with uh, Abu Ali Hassan Ibn Atim. Now Abu Ali Hassan Ibn Atim, he was born around a thousand years ago in present day Iraq and Al Hassan Ibn Al Atim uh, is known in the west uh, by the Latin form of his first name initially Al Hakim or Al Azim. Uh, he was a pioneering scientific thinker who made important contribution to the understanding of visions, optics and light. Ibn al Hatim made a thorough examination of the passage of light through various media and discovered the laws of refraction. He also carried out the first experiments on the dispersion of light into its constituent colors. Okay, he is an author of various books. He also invented the pinhole camera. So, this is all about Abdul Hatim. Next, we move on to Yaqub ibn Ishaq al Kindi. Now, Abu Yusuf uh, Yaqub ibn Ishaq al Kindi he was the first significant Arabian philosopher to utilize and develop a philosophical conception of Greek thought. His work significantly affected the intellectual development of Western Europe in the 13th century. Al Kindi developed a theory that uh, everything in the world emits rays in every direction which fills the whole world. This theory of the active power of rays had an influence on later scholars such as which we have just discussed Ibn al-Fatim and uh, Robert Rosetis and Roger Bacon. So he did considerable work in medicine too. So he also discussed uh, the nature of sound, his important work on sound and optics uh, is well known. Uh, he discovered method to express musical notes in terms of frequency, etc. Next, we move on to Abu Rahman Muhammad bin Ahmad al Biruni. Now, Abu Rahman Muhammad bin Ahmad al Biruni was well versed in physics, mathematics, astronomy, and natural sciences, and also distinguished himself as a historian, chronologist, and linguist. He studied almost all the sciences of his days and was rewarded abundantly for his tireless research in many fields of knowledge. He found the dentis, uh, density of various uh, metals. He discussed the movement of the sun and the moon. Uh, he disclosed that the earth is not stationary, but it is floating in space, etc. Et Next, we move on to Dr. Abdus Salam. Uh, in 1979, Pakistani scientist Abdus Salam won the Nobel Prize for Physics. His life's work was key to defining a theory of particles, particle physics still used today, and has laid the groundwork for the 2012 discovery of the Higgs boson, the particles responsible for giving all other particles mass. He was an asset to Pakistan and will remain in the heart of learning circle. Previous lesson we discussed about what is physics, uh, the various branches of physics, and the importance of physics in daily life. So in lesson Now, let's move on to the scientific method. The scientific method is a series of processes that people can use to gather knowledge about the world around them, improve that knowledge and attempt to explain why and how things occur. This method involves many observations, forming questions, making hypotheses, doing an experiment, analyzing the data, forming a conclusion. Every scientific experiment performed is an example of the scientific method in action but is also used by non-scientists in everyday situations. 
You can see over here there are various steps of scientific method. The first one is observation, then you ask questioning, you go down back down, you have to do some background research, you form a hypothesis, conduct an experiment, analyze results and draw a conclusion. Finally, you make a report of your results. So these are the seven steps of uh, scientific for scientific method. Observation, problem, you identify variables, formulate hypothesis, design experiment, collect data, and then finally you draw it. I hope it is clear to you all about this introduction and in this lesson we uh, discussed about the various uh, Muslim scientists, uh, uh, Ibn al-Hatim, Abu Yusuf Yaqub, Ibn Ishaq al-Kindi, Abu Rahman, Muhammad bin Ahmad al-Biruni, Dr. Abdul Salam, and Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan. Also we discussed about scientific method. Hope to see you in the next lesson. Till then, take care.